Well, hello again, fellow gamers. Uh, welcome back to another Let's Talk Gaming video. And as you can see, today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved, playing on the Survivors of the Last Ark server. Uh, as you can see, we have tamed uh, some dinosaurs yesterday. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, meanwhile, we have been leveling the Quetzal a little bit, and he's fit enough to go ahead into the mountains and grab some stone and metal to bring it back in order to build our PvP or even our PvE base. But in order to, that, to do that, I would like to go ahead and tame an Ankylo or a Dodicurus for the stone. So uh, that's my main goal for today, but we all know this is Ark and probably if you set a goal to go ahead and tame one of those dinosaurs, the only thing you will never find is a good level Ankylo or Dodicurus. So I'm keeping my finger cross fingers crossed and hoping I will find one. But uh, in the meantime, if you guys like these type of videos, Please feel free to go ahead and uh, press the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any comments or, su or suggestions, you can go ahead and fill them in, in the comment section down below here. Uh, but for now, well, let's go ahead and try to find an Ankylo somewhere and uh, tame it. I'll talk to you guys on the other side. Well folks, I'm back, yes, I have been collecting some materials to build me some stuff. I've built myself a rifle and some uh, trunk darts. And while I was looking around, I noticed there was a, a stego up there. It's a level 500 and something. And uh, 532, that's a male. Oh. Attack me, wrong bat. But I also noticed there is another one here in the woods, and I think it was a 560, I'm not quite sure. And I have the impression that he's stuck somehow, so I will try to uh, knock that one out. I'm hoping he's stuck, really stuck, so uh, I can shoot him in the head. That's one. Reload. Should be two. I just have to keep an eye out on the other one. If the other one gets close, oh, oh, there he comes. So with my running speed, I should be able to outrun it, I think. Yep. One more. Uh, I wonder why, why they run all the time. It's not that he's almost uh, finished, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Don't wait too long. It's, ooh, he's fast. He's very fast. Let me turn around and shoot it in the head one more time, and then run away. I will have to keep kiting him. He's very, 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 very close to me. Let's see what he does. Oh, turning a radius. Well, you could try that. Oh. One more in the brain. I'm getting way too close. Maybe you should try to lure him into the woods. And try to outsmart him. Running. Oh, oh. Not good, not good. He's down, he's down. Oh, that would be nice. Let me try to put some berries on him. 200 of these. I have some narcotics. Well, that didn't take me all that many darts, I think. So, while well, this one is getting sleepy, it's a male. Let me check if the other one is a male as well. up here yep it's a male too it would have been nice if it was a female then I could try to tame uh, both at once but now I guess I will have to uh, just wait until this one tames out or maybe uh, have a look a bit further I, there is another one up there that's a female 140 so maybe you can try to lure that one over as well Getting a male and a female would be nice to get some eggs uh, later on. Let's see what we can do with this one. Aim for the head. Try to lure him between the stones. Yeah, there. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Should be able to get him like that. Oh, he's 
down to. Well, it would be nicer to tame both. Then I have a couple. And I can get some eggs. Ooh, this will take very long. Oh. I'm gonna need uh, more berries and I think more narcotics. I don't have any of those yet, so uh, while babysitting these two tames, I will uh, continue and tame, uh, well not tame, collect some more berries and maybe create some uh, more narco. Otherwise this will take uh, way too long. I can't remember what uh, kind of cable I need for those, for the stego. Uh, I think it was Sarko cable, so the crocodiles. No way I can get crocodiles up here, so... Well, I guess, uh, I guess I will have to go ahead and collect berries and go back to my base and make some more uh, narcotics to keep them down. Otherwise they will wake up pretty fast. So, uh, well, I will just do that, collect berries and do all the things I need. And I will get back to you when I'm done uh, with this. Okay, I'm back with a little update. Uh, well, this one will be taming out pretty fast. I don't think... Uh, I will need all that many narcotics for this one, but uh, the high level one will take a while and uh, well instead of running up and down to my base uh, in order to create some more narcotics, I think I will just place a uh, mortar and pestle right here and uh, well collect the berries here, I still have some spur meat and that way, ah shit, true, I can't. I will need a foundation, a thatch foundation might be nice to start with, so... Oh, okay. A thatch foundation. And if I place that right here, then I should be able to place the motor and a vessel on it. And uh, that way, I don't have to run back to my base each time to create narcotics, so... Uh, I will just do that, collect some more berries and meanwhile, well, check that nothing comes in and uh, tries to kill these two dames. And uh, I'll be back uh, when they tame up, tame up so uh, I'll uh, see you folks on the, on the other side. Well, uh, I'm back with another update while uh, waiting for the other two to tame out. I noticed this uh, little ankylo here. It's not all that high level, but it's a female one, which should be nice to get some eggs in the future. So, uh, I will just go ahead and try to uh, knock that one out as well. Uh, try to keep it here in the area, so, uh, so I can tame three animals at once. Should be pretty easy, I think. Uh, I think next time I will be pumping some more speed, movement speed, so I can keep up about running these. Oh, I should be turning pretty soon. Yep, he's down as well. So, I can go ahead and uh, put some berries on this one too. I'll just put everything I have on him. If I remember it correctly, this one's Stopo will be even more faster than the Stego ones, but I'm hoping uh, this uh, little Stego will wake up pretty soon. Oh, still only halfway. But when that one wakes up, I uh, I can equip it with a saddle I have found in one of those drops. I found an Ascendant saddle uh, a few days ago. So then I can put uh, the saddle on him and collect uh, berries even faster. And hopefully that way I will be able to keep uh, all animals down. Well, while these here uh, are taming up, I will do some more gathering stuff and I will talk to you on the other side. Well folks, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah, I know this is turning out to be uh, a big taming circus. But uh, this strike here, level 168, this female one. And uh, well, while we are waiting for the other tames, we might try to get this one as well. So I would just go ahead. Oh, Something is wrong. Aha, server lag. Ah. Always big issue the server lag. 
Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> it's down as well. I just hope I can get uh, narcotics fast enough to keep them all down. <laughs> That's my only problem, I think. Yeah. Well, one, two, three, four tames? Hmm. I think this will take a while, so... I'll go ahead and do my usual stuff, collecting stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you later on. <laughs> well, I don't know if you noticed this, but <laughs> I just dropped the... Uh, this 504 Terranoso. Oh, maybe I can go grab some uh, prime meat for it, uh, actually. I think I have a lot of that uh, back in my base, so let me go grab that real quick. Then it should tame up pretty fast, actually. It will be uh, faster than, uh, than the herbivores, I think. Oh, what's this one? This one looks nice, actually. 168. I don't need that. I have plenty of, of prime meat on my on my quetzal, that's for sure. So let me grab well Ah, let's grab a stack. I have enough anyway and uh, run back to the Terranodon. And let's tame that one up as well. Just put in some meat and uh, wait a bit. I think it will tame up pretty darn fast. Uh, let's see. He's up there in the pack. Let's put some meat on him and, uh, well, wait until he's tamed up, so uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, later on then. Okay, well, you probably didn't see it, but uh, this Tego woke up, level 209. Let's see, uh, I have the Tego saddle here, so let's put that one on. Uh, put the berries, well I can actually put anything on him or her actually, it's a female let me see what I can do here uh, put all this on yep, and let's ride it and go grab some berries, he's pretty slow for now, but uh, well it's just to collect some berries anyway I think the trike should be up pretty soon too let's see what we can get with this one uh, tail swipe, oh, 126 narcotics, that's 300 in one go, let's give him some levels. I will go grab, uh, well, let's see. He could handle a lot more movement speed actually. 300 narcotics, that's a good start. I will take those and uh, we'll craft some more narcotics. Oh, the trike is up. Let's give him a name. Here we go. Barry the Berry Catcher. Oh, we should check. It's a female. Hmm. Barry isn't such a good name then. Uh, let me put the saddle on and rename it. Let's name it. Uh, Barry Betty. Of or Betty. Mm, Barry Betty. Here we go, it's the second one up. Oh, all the stego, level 84. It's a male. Let me put those narcotics in here. That's good for 52. Let me see what this strike can do. Well, its speed is actually already a bit faster, so that's uh, quite nice. Uh, let me see what I can get here. 76 narcotics, uh, narco berries. It's not bad, but the stego is actually a lot better. 
And while we are here, let's also check on the Terralodon. This one will even take one actually. 370. Okay, Barry. Let's head back to this side. And uh, I will park you right here. Well, I'm back, and as you can see, uh, the Ankylo tamed out, so it's time to give it a name. Mm, I will call it Flinter Dun, which uh, in Flemish will translate to English that would be something like a very thin, but since it will be collecting Flint too, well, might be a fitting name, so uh, let's accept that. Okay, let's have a look uh, at the stats. 5000 health is not that bad. 500 melee damage, well, it's okay. 410 weight. We need to raise that a bit. And uh, since I have a saddler already, I will put it on. 150 movement speed should be, well, pretty much okay. Ah, it's not bad. Let me try to find some stone later on. Or well, maybe even better if I could put him on, on wait and uh, wait until the Terra is uh, awake and follow. I'll check the Terra and uh, well, if something else stands out, I will be back. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but uh, <laughs> I kind of. So this one passed by, ran by, level, level 756 uh, Parasaur. And since I'm waiting anyway, I thought maybe I should uh, drop it too and uh, tame it too while I'm here. So it will be another, another tame. It will take uh, a while, but uh, in the meantime, I can take care of these, these three. So today's episode will be uh, a very big taming episode apparently but uh, well at least I will have some dinos to start uh, with and maybe get some eggs uh, to get some kibble to tame even higher level ones in the future but for now let's wait until all these tame out and uh, I'll see you back when that's done apparently these stones here have uh, respawned in my base so I will have a look at uh, what I can gather with uh, the new Ankylo. It's a low level one, but it should be uh, a good start, of course. Mm -hmm. It isn't doing anything. Southern Ankylo. Oh. Well, it's not all that bad. One hit. Give me 100 stone, 200 flints, and some metal on these uh, normal stones. Well, that should be okay. Level up. I think I will pump up some, uh, some weight first. Well, this will be uh, a good metal and flint gathering uh, Ankylo. I'm hoping to find a higher level one soon, but uh, maybe I should get myself some uh, Dylos first so I can grab some, uh, some eggs, collect some eggs, and get some kibble in order to tame a big uh, high level one. But for now, this one will do. Well, I guess I will get uh, back to you guys when uh, one of the other tames tames out. So I, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, here I am back uh, at my stacker. It's uh, well gonna tame out any minute now. I think one more bite, maybe two. Uh, as you might have noticed during uh, the montage, montage, I have been uh, quite busy. I've been taming a few more dinosaurs while waiting for this one to tame out. Uh, well, once this stego is tamed out, we will put a saddle on it. There we go. And it's a male. Uh, what shall we call it? Mm.
let's call him Fruit Loops. Here you go, Tame Dog, that's 827. Let's check the stats real quick. Uh, well, health, 12,000 health, 4,000 stamina, 1,500 uh, weight, and 925 melee damage, almost 200 movement speed. So uh, I think it's time to put a saddle on it and uh, take it out for a spin. Let's see the berries we get with this one. Oh, pretty darn good, if you ask me. 500 berries. Two spins. 500 narcotics. Well, it's pretty darn uh, good berry collector. Let me get a bit closer here. Yep, yeah, one more swipe. Let's have a look. Over a thousand narco berries and plenty of others, and it's just a few swipes, which is uh, pretty darn cool. Well, uh, I'll take millet to 1000, maybe raise the weight, weight a little bit more. It is still pretty slow, as you can see. Uh, I should add some movement speed to it, I think. But uh, that won't be for today. It's been a, a long long day long evening so i think i will uh, just close up uh, maybe give you a quick tour of uh, what i have tamed today but let me just park this one real quick here at the base okay here we are slow mo maybe that uh, should be a better name for him Here we go. So, I came to this one. Let's uh, rename it. Slow move. We tamed it at, uh, well, 828, I believe, which is pretty pretty good. Then I have also this one. Tamed it at 215, I think, another stego. I tamed this uh, trike. 255. Oh, better press U to unfollow. Okay, it's done. Let's get on to the other one with the big backwards. Okay, that should be it. So let's put it on neutral. Yeah, neutral, not following me. So I was telling you about these two stegos. One trike. Then uh, the Anki. But this one is quite nice. It's a 1121 level uh, Dilo. I have a few more Dilos here. One, two, three, four, five, six more. So seven Dilos. Uh, this parser and uh, I have one more tame today I did one more tame and that's uh, another Pternodon let me go check it real quick ok let's close the door as you see I have a new Pternodon friend we already had Becky and Flieg Machine and I tamed this one uh, well, while I was waiting for the stego to tame out. It's time to give it a name, change name. I think I will call it... Uh, Vion. For those who don't know, oh, Vion was the name of a, a carrier pigeon in... I think it was a, in a movie, an animation movie. I have been leveling it uh, a little bit already. It's a pretty darn fast one. And uh, it has nice stats 10,000 health already, 5,000 stamina, 500 weight, 2,500 melee damage. It's a pretty nice bird. I have to admit that. 
Well, I think that will be it for today. It was a pretty long episode, uh, pretty long and a uh, huge taming episode. But uh, this should allow me to get some eggs and maybe have some uh, metal ready for the next time. So we can uh, go ahead and build a little bit. For now, well, I will close out and uh, I hope to see you guys uh, soon again. And uh, until then, have fun and stay safe. Bye.